Welcome to the Brown University Library and to Avoiding the Literature Landslide, Going Beyond Google for Your Research Questions. This is the first of three online modules designed to introduce you to the resources of the Brown University Library and how you might use those resources to answer your medical and clinical questions. The objectives of this module are to define background and foreground questions and distinguish between them to name some databases and resources that can be used to answer both kinds of questions. We will begin with a scenario. Jim is a healthy 30-year-old male with no chronic medical conditions. He presents to the office with three days of productive cough and malaise. He has no fever, shortness of breath, or chest pain. He does report a mild runny nose and some nasal congestion. He mentions that the green junk he's coughing up is disgusting. After an examination, you diagnose acute bronchitis. Jim is hoping that you can give him something for his bronchitis so that he can get back to work. You are wondering whether antibiotics will be effective in his case. First, you need to define your question. Are you asking a background or a foreground question? Being clear about the kind of question you're answering, asking will help you select the right resources. A background question will give you general knowledge of a disease or condition, along with treatment options. You would look for information, background information, in the secondary or tertiary literature, such as textbooks, review articles, and clinical summaries. For a foreground question, you'll be asking a specific question about managing a patient or a population. You would answer foreground questions by looking at clinical summaries, systematic reviews, or original studies such as randomized control trials, cohort studies, or lesser quality literature such as case studies. A background question give for your scenario might be, what is the standard treatment for uncomplicated acute bronchitis? Some resources for this question might be Dynamed Plus, UpToDate, which is available via Lifespan's intranet, or Clinical Pharmacology if you're looking for drug information uh, having to do with a disease or condition. You might also start with some online textbooks such as Harrison's, Cecil and Goldman, or Diagnosaurus if you want information about how to diagnose something. Access Medicine is a great resource for Harrison's, Diagnosaurus, and many other textbooks. Clinical Key is another collection of textbooks with, with the addition of some other resources. It has about a thousand, a thousand textbooks in it and it includes Cecil's, Ferry's Clinical Advisor, The Netter Suite, and Robin's Pathology. Here's an example of a foreground question. You break it down into the patient and or the problem, in this case adults or an adult with uncomplicated acute bronchitis, the intervention, amoxicillin or amoxiclav, and an outcome that you're looking for, the reducing length and severity of illness. You might also be looking at a public health type question so your question might be, in adults with uncomplicated acute bronchitis, does amoxicillin contribute to antibiotic resistance? Some resources for foreground questions are point of care and evidence summaries, such as Dynamed Plus and Up to Date, clinical overviews and first consult, which are, is the same resource and is available in Clinical Key, or if you're looking for screening guidelines, the AHRQ's Electronic Preventive Service Selector. If you can't find anything in a point of care resource, you might go to the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews, the TRIP database. TRIP stands for Turning Research into Practice and is an excellent place to look for systematic reviews, guidelines, and other high quality clinical literature. Or you could go into PubMed and use the systematic review filter. You might also look at experimental studies. If you can't find a clinical review, a clinical summary, or a systematic review, 
you might go to PubMed and look at clinical queries or do a search in Embase, which is another literature database, the TRIP database again, or Google Scholar. You can find these resources through the Brown University website. We have two pages de dedicated to uh, health science and clinical resources. The top resource is our core health, health science database. The second link is to our clinical resources. This is the health science resource page. Sometimes you might hear faculty refer to this as medical connections. It breaks it down into broad families of resources, so article databases, point of care and textbooks, drug resources, and our top journals. This page also has linked to subject guides for, guides for other resources. The clinical resources page is the same basic set of resources, but it breaks it down a little bit differently taking the perspective of somebody who is doing, who is in clinic and might only have a few minutes to answer a question, might have five minutes to half an hour to sit down and do a quick search, or might want to get into the weeds a little bit and do a database search for uh, individual studies and use PubMed or Web of Science. Our next modules will look into these resources in a little more detail. The second module will be finding and using some of Brown's resources for your research, going into resources like Dynamid Plus, Clinical Key, and Access Medicine. And the final module will go into article databases, getting full text of journal articles, and how to get articles when Brown does not have the full text. Thank you.